Throughout the years, you saw me um, fertility struggle um, with, you know, feuding with my daughter, uh, friendship fighting, um, autism, my son having autism. There's always kind of a, a major thing in my life that I put out there. And I'm very open with my life like that. Um, and I think that when you when you're able to to put your walls down and be yourself and be open about your life, someone's gonna connect with you. Someone's going to relate to you. Um, but no, I enjoy interacting with, with the viewers. I really do. Right. So you use social media quite a bit. Yeah, to I do use social that. media a lot. Um, right. And, you know, I enjoy it. And a lot of people, you know, connect. I connect with them. Um, that was the one thing I have to say, like with the diagnosis with, with Nicholas. When we came out about his diagnosis, I got so, like, thousands of, of emails and letters and. and things through social media and my website and everything, just people sharing their journey with me and giving me resources and information. And it helped me so much that, it, that seriously is what gave me strength and, and hope and everything. I mean, it was, I, I don't know what I would have done without all that support. And it, hel it helped me so much that I just want to do the same for someone else. So I feel like whatever I learn, I want to turn around and, and share that with other people because that's, help me yeah so this is one of the I save I have like three of these and then I have a bunch I haven't even printed out yet but from people that write into me that give me information and share their journey with me and I save them I save them all and you know you hear like all these great success stories and those are the stories that I really hold on to because I'm like well they did it that means it's possible and I'm gonna do this until you know so it does give you hope and give you strength. And my goal for Nicholas is just to bring out the best Nicholas that Nicholas can be, whatever that is. And if I can give him the right tools and and therapies and things now to, to make him be the best that he can be, then that's what I'm gonna do. You have to find what their interests are because a lot of people don't know, kids on the spectrum, I mean, there are so many famous, well-known people that are, have been on the spectrum that are extremely successful and talented and it's because they can put so much focus into one thing and they have the ability to tune out other things too that they, they're extremely bright for one 
and they have that extreme focus. And I noticed that my son was very interested in music. He would love music, perks up to music, and he likes water too. And um, so I noticed when he was in the water, he, he made much better eye contact and things like that. And because I wasn't really in, into getting into my bathing suit, I left that one to the babysitter and <laughs> I got a music therapy. And so I have a music therapist that comes to the house that works with him and she gets him to say things like, it's amazing what comes out of him during music therapy. Mm -hmm.